routing tables, a quick tutorial. Today, Mr. Panda is trying to get from North America, United States back home to his mom in Asia, China. Now he needs to check ship itineraries to see what route options are available to him and which route is the best one to take. The default route Mr. Panda will take if he can't make a decision is Route 2 to South America, Brazil, since it's closer to his destination and may have a ship to his final destination. It is leaving now, but let's check if there is a better option. From looking at the ship itinerary, Panda needs to find which ship route is going to the closest to his final destination while having the least number of stops in between. Mr. Panda can leave from Port 1 on the West Coast, USA, or Port 2 on the East Coast. He then will have to choose which route from Port 1 to Canada or China with an additional stop in Ecuador, or from Port 2 to Brazil, Russia, South Africa, or China. So from the table it can be seen that Route 1 and 5 are both traveling to Asia China, but Panda needs to determine which path will cost him less time and extra stops. Route 1 leaves from Port 1 and needs to make two stops to reach its destination, while Route 5 travels directly to Asia China from Port 2. So Panda will decide to take Route 5 to China through Port 2. Mr. Panda made it to China to see his mom. We have Mr. Panda again, but this time he's a JPEG image and wants to get from your host computer to his destination on your friend's computer. Mr. Panda is the message. He must be broken up into smaller packets of data to travel through the internet passages to his destination. After breaking into packets, the data will be encapsulated in message showing where Mr. Panda wants to go. These packets will each get a destination IP address. Upon being sent to the router port, the routing table finally comes into play. Here's your host computer with Mr. Panda. He needs to get to your friend's computer way over there. To do so, he first stops at your local router and can either leave from port 1 or 2 to routers A, B, or C. Each router is attached to multiple local area networks, each with its own IP address. We want Mr. Panda to get to the network closest to your friend's computer. Now let's put this information into a routing table. The first column shows the number of different options available. The network subnet column shows possible destination subnets within the network of devices. A subnet mask is a number that defines a range of IP addresses that can be used to designate a subnetwork inside a network. A metric is how many hops it will take to get to the chosen router. We want it to be the lowest possible. The interface is which port the data is departing from, and the next hop router column shows which router to send data to for each route option. The default row is row 6, so if we don't have a better match, we will use the default instead. But first, let's check to see if there is a better option. It can be seen from the routing table that when the mask is applied to the subnet, rows 2, 4, and 5 all match the IP address destination. When we have multiple matches, we next look at the length of the matches. The longest matches are in rows 2 and 5. Both addresses have the prefixes of slash 24. Since there are two subnets with the same length of match, you then look at the metric. In this case, the metric is measured in the cost, or hops to reach that subnet, so we want the smallest metric. We will choose row 2, so our next hop router will be router B through interface 2. So the packets containing Mr. Panda's data should be sent to router B through interface 2. In summary, we first apply the mask to the subnetworks and compare this to the destination address. If there are no matches, we use the default row. If there is one match, we use that row. If there are multiple matches, we use the longest row. If there are multiple matches of the same length, we use the row with the best metric. To generate your own routing table, open your command line and type route print, then enter to see the magic happen. Thanks for watching! Created using Powtoon!